Alrighty, this problem is a population model problem. It says that uh, P of T represents the number of wolves at whatever time. Population is increasing at a rate directly proportional to this, uh, where the constant of proportionality is K. So um, this sentence right here, P of T increasing at a rate directly proportional, we've talked about that a fair bit. Um, you should be able to interpret that into uh, P prime, equals k uh, times this thing. So 800, and I'm just going to write minus p, where we assume that p is a, is a function in terms of t. Um, so from here, I can, um, I'm going to rewrite p prime as d p dt. And that's equal to k times 800 minus p. Um, and now I can do separation of variables, because part A says, um, so I should add that, P of uh, 0 is 500, and then we want to find P of T, so we want to solve for P of T in terms of T and K. So what that means is that um, we don't have to solve for our k yet. We're allowed to leave a k in our equation. All right, so let's continue on with solving. I'm going to use separation of variables, as I said. So I get dp over 800 minus p is equal to k dt. Um, from here, I can integrate. Um, when I integrate, I get uh, ln... Absolute value 800 minus P um, equals KT plus some C. Um, but I need to add something here. Um, there's one thing that I have not done correctly here yet. Let's see if you can figure it out. It has to do with this side. If I were to derive this, I wouldn't get this back actually need a negative sign out front and that's to deal with this guy right here. If that was 800 plus P then I wouldn't need that. If that was 800 minus 2 P I would do negative one half out front here. Anyway, um, so I don't like that negative there because I want to do E to the over here to get rid of this LN so I'm gonna multiply everything by negative 1 that's going to give me ln absolute value 800 minus p equals minus kt minus c. Now I can e to the on both sides. Um, that's going to swing me over here. And uh, the e to the and the ln cancel on this side. And that gives me... Uh, 800 minus P. And then on the right side, um, I'm going to separate that into two separate e to this, and we've done that quite a bit with these differential equations. It's using some exponent rules. I get e to the minus kt times e to the negative c, like that. All right, so this is my step where I'm going to use the uh, initial value um, to solve for my c, and I'm actually going to just solve for the e to the negative c because I think that's easier in this case. So I'm going to use uh, t equals 0 and p equals 500 to solve for my c. That gives me 800 minus 500 equals. Uh, e to the, when I plug in t equal to 0, then this whole thing is going to be 0, so I'm going to get e to the 0, which I know is going to be 1, times e to the negative c. So um, this goes away, it's 1, and gives me that e to the negative c is equal to, 800 minus 500 gives me 300. So from here, I'm going to slide this equation down and get 800 minus p. Um, I don't know if I've said this already, but I chose to solve for c in this case because I kind of have some experience with these things, and you should too, um, and this happens, I think, to be the easiest place to solve for c. 
could have slid the 800 over and solved for P and done the same thing, you would have gotten the same answer. But I think that this is the easiest spot to solve for that E to the C thing. So, um, notice I've got uh, E to the C times, actually I'll leave E to the C in blue, times this thing right here, right? They're being multiplied right there. So I am going to rewrite this equation as equal to, my, I know my E to the negative C is 300, so I'm going to write 300. And then here I'm clearly multiplying the e to the negative c by this green thing, right? I think it's underlined in green, so I get times e to the negative kt. I'm actually almost done here. There's being multiplied. Um, so my last step is to, or my second last step is to move that p or that 800 over. So I get minus p equals minus 800 plus 300 e to the minus kt, and then uh, if I multiply by negative 1, I get that p, which is a function of t, so I can write p of t, equals 800 minus 300 e to the negative kt. And that's my final answer for this part A, because remember, it said find p of t in terms of t and k, and I've got, you know, E is a letter here, but that represents a number, right? So number, 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 T, K, P of T equals, I've got P of T in terms of T and K.